everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and today we're going to be making a card using the Winter Frolic Cricut cartridge and I'm going to be using the um, little bird uh, birdhouse on a branch which is located on page 63 and I cut everything out for this at 4 inches. I cut out the um, bird feeder and all the layers for this at 4 inches. So let's get started putting our card together. I'm going to start off with a piece of white card stock which is eight and a half by 11, and I'm just gonna cut it in half, which is at five and a half inches. And then I'm going to bring out my score pal and score my paper at four and a quarter inches. So I'll score that right at four and a quarter. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and fold on my score line, just like that. So I'm just going to set this aside because I'm going to bring out a piece of scrap paper and my pieces to my um, my little branch and birdhouse. And let's see here. I think I'm going to start by I have all the little pieces stuck to my hands here laying my birds, the little birds that go inside the birdhouse, down first. And let's see. This one is going to go right here. And then the smaller one goes right here. And then let me look at my manual because I think the little yeah, there's a little Christmas hat that goes right on top of the bigger bird. So I'm going to use my um, Tweezer Bees tweezers and some two-way glue. And this is just a zig two-way glue to put my layers together. So that's the little birdies inside the birdhouse and then we'll do our little Santa hat if I could pick it up there we go and well I glued the wrong side of it so that's okay I'm gonna glue this side and then I'll come back and I'll just add a little glitter or something to the hat later on. Okay. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use some dimensionals. I cut out the um, front of the bird house in the same color as the back of my bird house, which is okay because I'm just going to use some dimensionals or some adhe pop adhesive to pop that up just need one more little piece remove the the backing off of the okay so just like that and then I'm just going to use a sharpie pen to make the eyes on my little birdies there Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is, this is the bow, or the tie that holds the bird feeder onto the branch. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the two-way glue to the back of that. And then we're going to go ahead and add our little branches to our or our little leaves, rather, to our branches. 
Now the tricky part is going to be figuring out which one these go on. So I went ahead and added um, all my little elements on, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my stickles, and let's see, I'm going to use this diamond stickles, and I'm just going to use that right on the hat since I accidentally put my adhesive, my two-way glue on the little hat, so I'm just going to use the stickles to dress that up a little bit and I'm just going to set that aside to let it dry and then I'm going to go ahead and start cutting my paper. This is some older um, paper that I have and let's start with our base of or our first layer which is going to be the mat and I'm going to cut this at four inches by five and one quarter. So that was the four inch and this will be five and a quarter Let me just trim off this little piece right here my blade on my trimmer is getting a little dull so I just have to use my scissors to trim off that little piece there. So that, that'll be my matte layer. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my pattern paper, which has these cute little uh, glittered snowflakes on them, at three and three quarter, which is a quarter of an inch smaller than my matte size, by five inches. So that's my matte piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and just adhere that down. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right onto my pink paper that I'm using here, my pink card stock. Or actually, before I adhere that completely down, I'm going to take my corner chopper and round the corners on the bottom. So I'm going to use the quarter inch side and I'm going to round the corners on this piece and then I'm also going to round the corners on my mat piece as well. Alright, now I can go down, go ahead and lay down my, uh, my pattern paper. have a little bit of a rough edge there for my paper trimmer. Now I'm going to go ahead and mat this down onto the base of my card. And before I do that, I'm also going to round the corners on this as well. So I'm going to use the quarter inch side of the corner chopper on that too. So I'm going to mat this right onto my card, just like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mat or add my um, little bird house on a branch. And hopefully my stickles is dry. I don't think it is, but we'll just be careful.
and then we'll go ahead and add this right to the front of my card. So just a really quick, simple card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye!